this. On Saturday, the 13th of May, 1950, a woman just a little over seven months pregnant was rushed into the emergency ward at a hospital in Saginaw, Michigan, United States. Unlike her first two children's birth, her third child was eventful and she was born six weeks premature. Lula Mae Hardaway and her husband Calvin Judkins were relieved that their newborn survived. The doctor said he would be in the incubator for a while. Unknown to everyone, the air conditioning in the incubator would eventually be the cause of irreparable damage to the child's vision. The blood vessels at the back of baby Steve Land Hardaway's Judkins eyes did not form properly and the excess oxygen in the incubator further caused harm, making his retina to be detached. Steve Land became visually impaired for the rest of his life as a result. Lula and Calvin were heartbroken and wondered what the future held for their son, Steve Land, as he wouldn't be able to attend a regular school. The couple didn't have much, and many times they went without food and slept in the cold because they couldn't afford to buy coal. His father was a drunk who, instead of working hard to provide for his family, forced Stivlin's mother into prostitution to make ends meet. She divorced him when Stivlin was just four years old. Life was hard for Stivlin, his siblings, and his mom. Stivlin was musically inclined like his mother, who is a songwriter. He started to play the piano, drums, harmonica, and other instruments at a very young age. He joined the choir at the Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan, where they had moved to with his mom. Because of his love for music and his skillfulness at playing instruments, Stiveland entered into a partnership with a friend, John. They made Street Corners their first stage and soon began to be invited to play at parties. Stiveland's exceptional music talent at such a tender rate got him noticed by big music producers of the time. So in the 60s, at age 11, he was auditioned at Motown and got signed up with the Motown's Tamler label. He was then named Little Stevie Wonder. Life took a new turn to stardom and riches for Stevie Wonder and his family as his music career grew and he released one hit album after another. Today, Stevie Wonder is a music legend worth about $110 million. Over the years, I've seen and heard so many people complaining about what life throws at them. The problem with it is that you cannot change yesterday. The least you can do is to learn how to cope with life and few people do this. But the least isn't the best. The best you can do is to turn life's obstacles to an opportunity. Ron White said, and I quote, I believe when life gives you lemons, you should make lemonade and try to find someone whose life has given them vodka and have a party. Let me tell you my personal story. I was born in Africa as a sickle cell child. When I was a teenager and understood the reason for my pains was because my parents ought not to have married themselves with their genotypes, I got furious, especially with my father, who didn't even care about my health challenges. However, when I was around age 17, I started thinking about my future. If I continue to blame my parents or God for my predicament, I'll grow up poor, depressed, and as a failure. I decided to let go of what I couldn't control. I started reading books that made me to think positive thoughts, and that was how my life changed. Many of you watching this have some personal issues. Some happened before you were born and some due to the economy or leadership of your country. My encouragement for you is this, let go at face front. Let go of what you can't change, face the future and try to influence it for your good. To do this, you need to stop doubting your abilities. Carlos Wallace said, if you doubt you can't accomplish something, then you can't accomplish it. You need to have confidence in your ability and then be tough enough to follow through. Stevie Wonder grew up with one of the worst conditions you can ever imagine, but he turned that around to become a millionaire. If you think you're too weak to achieve your dreams, think again. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we've handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.